us, we are the entirety of the Cisco team. Um, it's just both, just us. Um, we are both electrical engineers, so that's sort of our background that we bring to this. Um, we have two entries, which I believe brings us to the highest vote to person ratio of all the teams. Um, the first one is our one meter to scale bot entry. This is the Eastern. It's based on a um, design we got from Racing Sparrow, which is an existing boat design for our sea racing class. Um, but we built everything ourselves. It's a fiberglass hull with uh, polyurethane foam filled in the entirety. Um, all of our electronics are housed in these two new boxes, watertight boxes. Um, and you know, we have a you know, GPS, total compensated compass, and wind fin, which is not mounted right now as, as our sensors. Um, the other boat is just a Micromagic standard kit class, um, pretty much unmodified from the standard kit. Uh, but the key thing about both of these two boats is they both run off of um, this custom designed single board computer um, that you will hear a lot more about on Wednesday, so I won't talk about it a lot here. Uh, but this board, it runs Linux. Uh, we use it to control both um, the Eastern and the friend to, um, and we can make friend fully autonomous. So we can do everything on, on that one computer without having to talk to a computer on shore. That's about it. Any questions? Same question that I ask everyone then. Yeah. What has changed since the last entry of these, or is this brand new? Um, the Eastern is brand new. Okay. Last year we competed in Germany with a Micromagic. Uh, that's sort of how we got into this competition. Mm -hmm. um, for the last year, we pretty heavily modified the, uh, the boat aspects, of, like the deck and everything, and that turned out to be problematic because, like I said, we're electrical engineers, not uh, naval engineers. So this year, we went really conservative. Uh, we actually followed the plans when we built the boat. Uh, that really helped. It hasn't sunk yet, unlike um, last year's boat. We sunk and then we covered it. So yeah, that's the main change. So has Eastern sailed until yet? Uh, we have a 10-foot swimming pool in the, in the shop. And that's been the entirety. Of Does that really count? Probably not. Well, it floats. Oh, I mean, the fan. It floats. Yeah. Okay. It floats. Yeah. Um, it sits right. It needs like an extra. If the if the compartments flood, it still needs 13 pounds Just to reach it. neutral buoyancy. We were able to test that. So that was after last year's sinking. Our main priority was to not have a repeat of that experience. <laughs> Is this one fully autonomous as well? Yes. Or capable, capable of? Yeah, well, it will be. Yeah. Mm -hmm.